Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. In today's lecture, we are going to talk about Hershey Chase experiment. Hershey Chase experiment is the final experiment that we are going to discuss about in this experiment series. And it started with uh, the Griffiths experiment, then Avery MacLeod McCarty's experiment, and now the Hershey Chase experiment that conceals our understanding of how exactly uh, the idea of uh, a factor transformed between two bacteria in the same generation started in. Then they found out that the factor is a DNA which is transferred from one bacteria to the other bacteria of the same generation via transformation. And now with Hershey Chase experiment which finally proved that the DNA and not the protein acts as a genetic material uh, in uh, bacteria and in organisms, overall organisms because the, they proved this in cases of bacterial uh, DNA fragments using a bacteria as well as a phage which is uh, a virus that infects a bacteria okay so the so this is Hershey Chase experiment and in this experiment let me tell you that the component of this experiment now why they perform this experiment is basically uh, to to answer the question that whether a protein or a DNA act as genetic material is it the protein or is it the DNA and the debate was there for a long time and I know they, there are various research institutes and scientists are doing their job they're doing their experiments to find it out but finally uh, this experiment by Hash and Cheese concluded the uh, the idea of DNA as a genetic material not the protein now, how exactly they proved this idea is that they utilizes uh, they utilize here two things one they utilize here the bacteria they use a bacteria here and they use a bacteriophage that is T2 phage okay so the bacteria they use E. coli as the bacteria and they use T2 phage now T2 phage in general attacks E. coli T2 phage can attack E. coli and T2 phage spreads its genetic material inside the bacteria okay now the T2 phage what is the genetic material in T2 phage that they needed to figure out and that's what they did with the help of their experiment okay so T2 phage by nature attacks E. coli and injects the genetic material from itself into the bacteria into the bacterial cell and then if we measure the bacterial cell after uh, the phage infects the bacteria we can easily find out whether the genetic material is there inside the bacteria or not if it's there inside the bacteria then whether it's the dna that is inserted or it is the protein that is inserted if we figure it out we know whether the dna or the protein is acting as a genetic material okay provided the fact that we are doing this experiment uh, between the bacteriophage and bacteria a virus and a bacteria okay so this process of virus infecting a bacteria and transferring its genetic material this also later been proved to be a transduction another kind of horizontal gene transfer process of bacterial gene transfer where fragment of a different bacterial DNA is inserted inside the phage and the phage inserts that bacterial DNA inside another bacteria that is known as transduction okay that is something that is also out there the transduction part. So now the experiment that was performed here by the Hershey and Chase is basically they uh, mark both these macromolecules proteins and DNA. You know proteins contain sulfur and DNA contains phosphorus because DNA have phosphorus backbone, phosphate backbone. So the, the phosphorus here in the DNA is uh, marked with radio like the P32 and uh, the radio is P32 and sulfur is 35 okay so the radioactivity can be measured why we tag them with this P32 and S35 uh, why do we do that uh, because the radioactive phosphorus is P32 and the radioactive sulfur is S35 sulfur is found in the proteins not all the amino acids have sulfur but there are some amino acids like cysteine for example so that's why they mark it with sulfur 35 as a radioisotope and DNA with P32 marking is done so they make sure the marking is very well done before uh, the starting of the experiment so if this is the bacteria okay and uh, we know uh, bacteria is there this is the host bacteria E coli that is in place 
and what we know is that we have the phage okay let's imagine this is the phage head and rest of the structure this is the phage and inside the phage we have the uh, like we have the the whatever it is dna or protein we don't know that till that point uh, and we know the phage head is generally made with protein we now we know that the phage head is mostly made with protein so when they tag them uh, the s35 uh, the s35 tag is generally tagged to the phage coat that is the protein coat and p32 the phosphorus 32 or p32 is generally coated inside okay so p32 is generally present in inside of the phage because the dna was there inside and s35 was there in the outside in the coat phage coat it is present in the phage coat that marking is done and they make sure that all the phage that is out there are properly marked all the dna will be marked with p32 proteins will be marked with s35 they make sure that all the phage head and intern genetic material are marked next step is they allow the incubation they allow this incubation of those radio labeled phage with the host e coli this is the second step this was the first step this is the second step they want this t2 phage to transfer its genetic material to the e coli ab hindi mein thoda bata do to yahan pe kya kiya hai na basically jo dna hai usme phosphate backbone hota hai to p32 radio isotope se mark kiya aur protein mein sulfur hota hai to isliye s35 se radio isotope wo bhi hai usse protein ko mark kiya कहां पे मार्क किया वो फाज में मार्क किया टी टू फाज में वो मार्क किया गया और बहुत सारे टी टू फाज एक साथ रख के उसको रेडियो लेवल किया गया बहुत टाइम तक ताकि सारे के सारे फाज में वो मार्किंग हो जाए और फाज की जो बाहर की कोट होता है वो प्रोटीन से बना हुआ तो वो थर्टी फाइव से मार्क हुआ और अंदर प्रोटीन भी है और डीएनए प्रोटीन डीएनए कौन सा चीज है वो हमें तब तक पता नहीं था हो सकता था प्रोटीन था हो सकता डीएनए था अगर डीएनए है तो पी से मार्क होगा प्रोटीन है तो एस से मार्क होगा तो वो चीज वहां पर हुआ एंड देन वी टेक those mart or radio labeled t2 phage or e coli ko infect karne ke liye ek jagah pe diya gaya incubation ke liye diya gaya ab ye phage jo hai ye e coli ko infect karega that's by nature the bacteriophage which is a virus will infect the e coli which is a bacteria the host for the phage so when they will transfer their genetic material for this process they will transfer their genetic material they will transfer their genetic material in here तो जेनेटिक मेटेरियल को ट्रांसफर करेगा फॉर दिस प्रोसेस ऑफ जेनेटिक मेटेरियल ट्रांसफर सो वी अलाउ देम फॉर इंक्यूबेशन वंस द इंक्यूबेशन इज डन यू नो इंक्यूबेशन स्टेज व्हाट हैपेंस इज दैट दिस इज इक्वलाई एंड ऑन टॉप ऑफ दैट वी हैव दिस फाज ओके वी हैव दिस फाज एंड वी मेक श्योर दैट व्हाट एवर थिंग इज प्रेजेंट इन द फाज इज गेटिंग ट्रांसफर्ड इन द बैक्टीरिया इन द इक्वलाई दैट प्रोसेस इज डन ओके so no longer so they don't have any of this anymore so the phage is only protein now the phage is only protein head is present so this is only protein head and all the genetic material gets transferred into the e coli host it is transferred so in this stage incubation is done this is the stage and then we need to separate the e coli from the phage head for that we need to introduce centrifugation with the help of centrifugation agitation is used so vigorous agitation is used with the help of this agitation we separate the phage head or the coat of the phage from the rest of the e coli cell they get separated so with the agitation they get separated once they get separated with the help of this agitation so what we have in that separation let me show you that so this is the tube let's say in the centrifugation tube what we have we have a pellet this is the pellet and this is the supernatant okay this is pellet this is supernatant supernatant is the place where light weight objects are present light weight light weight means here phage head or coat proteins get separated from the rest of the e coli e coli is bulkier bigger this is heavy heavy weight means what the bacteria e coli 
So after the agitation, after the centrifugation, based on their weight density, they get separated. Lightweight components that is the phage coat proteins are present in the superretent and heavy E. coli cells are present in the pellet. So after the centrifugation is done, then we check the radioactivity. Now this is the time for the moment of truth. And this is what we are going to get from here. We found out is that in the lightweight region, in the supernatant, we are only finding out S35. While in the pellet, we are finding out P32. So P32 labeled radioactivity is found in the pellet. None of the P32 activity is there in the light uh, weight or the supernatant. Supernatant is showing only S35 radioactivity. So, because we can distinguish and differentiate between the radioactivity provided by S35 and P32, we can easily uh, differentiate that whatever thing is present in the supernatant had S35 connected to it, that means that is a protein component. And whatever is showing P32 radioactivity is a part of the pellet that is inside the E. coli. We know E. coli is present as a heavy material, it is present in the bottom, it is present in the pellet. So that makes sure that all the, you know, although the, the phage was tagged with P32 in the DNA and S35 in the protein, but after the incubation, after the centrifugation, all the P32 radioactivity is inserted inside the E. coli. Try to understand. P32 is actually embedded. It was present inside the head of the T2 phage. But now that same P32 radioactivity is transferred from the T2 phage inside the E. coli cell. So what gets transferred from the phage to the E. coli? Is it the DNA or the protein? It is the one contains P32 that is the DNA. So DNA which was P32 radioisotope marked by the DNA ko, wo sare P32 where did it go? E. coli and E. coli in the pellet. Mein mila. और जो प्रोटीन पार्ट था जो कि कोट में T2 फाज की कोट में था उसमें S35 था वो कहां पे था सुपरनेटन में आया तो सुपरनेटन में प्रोटीन S35 ही रहेगा और सारे के सारे P32 जो फाज में टैग किया गया था पहले वो P32 सारे के सारे P32 कहां पे आ गया ई कोलाई के अंदर आ गया तो इसका मतलब ये होता है कि ई कोलाई जो है वो P32 के अंदर लिया S35 को नहीं लिया और P32 को लिया इसका मतलब है डीएनए को लिया S35 को नहीं लिया इसका मतलब है प्रोटीन को नहीं लिया सो द ई कोलाई व्हिच इज अ होस्ट ऑर्गेनिज्म व्हिच इज टेकिंग अप व्हाट इट्स टेकिंग अप द P32 व्हिच इज टैग टू द डीएनए एंड डज नॉट गेट S35 व्हिच इज टैग टू द प्रोटीन सो हियर वी कैन क्लियरली स्टेट दैट दैट द ई कोलाई गेट्स द डीएनए फ्रॉम द फाज नॉट द प्रोटीन्स सो द फाज डिलीवर्स डीएनए इनटू द ई कोलाई not the proteins into the E. coli. Faj delivers DNA into the E. coli. Faj jo hai wo DNA ko introduce kiya E. coli ke andar. Protein ko introduce nahi kiya, insert nahi kiya. Isse ye pata chalta hai ke DNA is the genetic material. Protein is not the genetic material. Remember DNA is the genetic material that is being transferred from bacteriophage to the E. coli bacteria that can be transferred from one bacteria to the other bacteria and now we know that yes the bacterial fragment can be transferred from one bacteria to the other bacteria in the same generation via horizontal gene transfer in means of or involving a phage which is known as transduction which can be generalized or specialized either case. That was the experiment done by Hash and Chase. It perfectly conclude that the DNA is the genetic material RNA genetic material nahi hai, protein genetic material nahi hai. Hopefully you get this point. If you like this video, I want you to watch all the experiment series videos here, including the Hershey Chase experiment, this is done, the Avery MacLeod McCarty experiment, the Griffiths experiment, as well as the Pulse Chase experiment. Okay? So, agar achcha laga to like kar do, subscribe and share with your friends. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.